NVIDIA just changed the entire AI industry in a way that goes beyond what even DeepSeek did, and honestly, almost nobody saw this coming. NVIDIA didn't just drop another open weights model and call it a day. They released what they are explicitly calling an open model, and the way they are doing it is the closest thing we have seen to true open source at this level. And the timing matters, because heading into 2026, the future of AI is starting to look like it might be shaped around openness again, not just closed APIs and locked systems. For a lot of people, that could be the difference between feeling threatened by AI and actually being able to use it, understand it, and benefit from it in real life. The new Nematron 3 Nano model is already seeing serious momentum, and NVIDIA is claiming major deployments across companies like Accenture, Cadence, CrowdStrike, Cursor, Deloitte, EY, Oracle Cloud Infrastructure, Palantir, Perplexity, ServiceNow, Siemens, Synapsys, and Zoom, which is a huge signal that NVIDIA didn't just ship a model, they shipped something enterprises are immediately willing to touch. So this isn't just NVIDIA staying dominant in hardware. This is NVIDIA making a move to become a major force in the model layer too. And if they pull off what they're promising next, it could reshape the whole balance of power in AI. Now here's the twist. This is not the usual story where NVIDIA releases a model and the conversation ends at how good is it compared to the others. Nematron 3 is a leap beyond Nematron 2, but it also revives an older idea that most companies abandoned when the hype shifted to closed frontier systems. NVIDIA is going beyond the typical open weights approach we've seen with models like Quen and DeepSeek, and in certain scenarios, it can score higher than them. But the bigger point is the licensing and the release strategy. NVIDIA is pushing what it calls the open models approach under an open models license. And that matters because it's not just the weights. Along with the weights, they're releasing the training cookbooks, meaning the pre-training and post-training recipes that show how the model was built and tuned, which is exactly the layer that's usually hidden. So it's not just, here's a checkpoint, good luck. It's more like, here's the model, here's how we trained it, and here's how you can reproduce or adapt it. That is why people are calling this the closest thing we've had to a truly open AI release at this quality level. And when I say models, I mean plural, because Nematron 3 is not a single model drop. The first one, Nematron 3 Nano, is already out right now. And depending on when you're hearing this, it may have been available for days. You can try it yourself. But NVIDIA has also confirmed two much bigger releases in 2026, Nematron 3 Super and Nematron 3 Ultra. And if those land with the same openness, it could be a historic shift. So let's break down the lineup clearly. First is Nematron 3 Nano, the one already released. It's described as a 30 billion parameter model, but it does not activate the full 30 billion at once. It activates around 3 billion parameters at a time, which is the entire point. Targeted, highly efficient compute for the tasks that matter, with strong throughput and low cost. NVIDIA is positioning Nano as the fastest of the three models in terms of throughput, meaning it is designed to respond quickly and run efficiently especially in multi-agent workflows where speed and cost matter. In simpler terms, Nano is meant to be the speedy workhorse model. It's the simplest of the three, but it's still extremely capable and in real deployments that often matters more than having the biggest model on paper. It also supports these cookbooks, meaning you can take a baseline and tune it in a more controlled, repeatable way instead of guessing your way into a fine tune. In some ways, this is similar to how people think of lightweight flash models, but the difference here is openness, tunability, and cost. And speaking of cost, NVIDIA is making a point of pricing that is shockingly low. For example, one Nematron 3 nano offering is listed at $0.06 per 1 million input tokens and $0.24 per 1 million output tokens. That's the kind of pricing people associate with the cheapest options in the market, and it's one more reason NVIDIA is clearly aiming for mass adoption, not just a research flex. Now the second model is Nematron 3 Super, planned for 2026, and NVIDIA has signaled it's expected in the first half of the year. Super is positioned as a higher accuracy reasoning model, around 100 billion parameters with up to 10 billion active per token, built for multi-agent and more complex reasoning tasks where Nano may be fast, but you want deeper accuracy and more capability per step. Then comes the third and largest, Nematron 3 Ultra, also planned for 2026. Ultra is described as a large reasoning engine at around 500 billion parameters, with up to 50 billion active per token, meant for the most complex AI applications where you're pushing reasoning depth, tool use, and high-level planning. 
So that's the latter. Nano for speed and throughput, super for high accuracy reasoning at a larger scale, and ultra for heavyweight, near frontier style reasoning capacity. Now let's talk about how NVIDIA is pulling this off, because Nematron 3 is not just bigger number equals better. All three models use transformer-based systems, but the key phrase NVIDIA is emphasizing is a hybrid Mamba transformer design. The simplest way to understand that is this. Traditional transformer models can be powerful, but they often become expensive and slow as the context grows and as workloads become more complex. The hybrid Mamba approach is meant to preserve strong reasoning while improving speed and efficiency, so the model stays practical even under heavy usage. NVIDIA is focusing on maintaining consistent reasoning ability while speeding up how that computation happens so users get faster answers without sacrificing accuracy. On top of that, Nematron 3 heavily uses mixture of experts, or MOE, which is one of the biggest reasons the active parameter count can stay far lower than the total parameter count. A useful way to visualize this without getting lost in jargon is to think of it like a community of specialists instead of one massive generalist brain doing everything at full effort every time. For example, the model can route certain tasks to experts that are more tuned for math, others for code, others for language, others for reasoning patterns instead of burning full compute across the whole model on every token. And NVIDIA is also talking about latent mixture of experts, which is expected to multiply the number of experts by roughly four times compared to earlier approaches without exploding the inference cost the way you might expect. That means more specialization, better abstractions, and potentially better performance on complex real-world tasks, especially in multi-agent setups. Another key technique NVIDIA is highlighting is multi-token prediction, often shortened to MTP. Instead of predicting only the next token in a strictly one step at a time chain, MTP allows the model to predict multiple future tokens in a single forward pass using multiple output heads. The practical impact is fewer steps, fewer passes, and faster generation, especially in long outputs and agent-style workloads where you want the system to move quickly while staying coherent. NVIDIA is also leaning into NVFP4 training for these models, using NVIDIA's 4-bit floating point format to make training and inference more efficient at scale, which again ties into the bigger strategy. Make the best open models run best on NVIDIA hardware and stacks while still being genuinely usable and inspectable by the broader ecosystem. And then there's the headline capability that almost everyone is going to talk about. The context window. NVIDIA is pushing a 1 million token context window for Nematron 3, which puts it in the same conversation as the longest context systems in the market. That kind of context changes what people can do in practice because it means you can feed massive documents, huge code bases, long conversations, or large multi-step agent plans without constantly losing memory or compressing context. It's not just a feature for show, it's a feature that changes workflows, especially for enterprise and research use. And if you combine that context scale with a model that is fast, cheap, and open in a deeper sense than most open releases, it becomes obvious what NVIDIA is doing here. This looks like a direct Western response to the wave of extremely low-cost, high-capability models that threaten to reset pricing and expectations. NVIDIA is trying to one-up that pressure on every axis, speed, openness, deployment, and ecosystem. So yes, 2026 is shaping up to be an explosive year. AI glasses are coming into the mainstream. AI models are jumping in power while collapsing in cost. More people are realizing that AI isn't going away. It's embedding itself into everything. And the real question now is whether that future is controlled by a few locked systems or opened up enough that ordinary developers, companies, and even individuals can actually build on top of it. So let me ask you this. Do you think NVIDIA is about to become the dominant force, not just in AI hardware, but in AI models too? Or is this open model move just a strategic play to protect the hardware empire? Let me know what you think 2026 is going to look like for you in the comments. If you like this video, hit like so the algorithm actually shows it to more people. And if you want to keep up with everything happening in AI and tech, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss the next upload. This has been AI365, and thanks for watching.